In this lesson, we're going over how to make fractions in calculators. We'll go over the most important button that you need to know. And then after that, we've got six examples, which might sound like a lot, but it's not too bad. I'll go over the first three for you, and then you'll try the next three on your own. Coming up on the math review. So if you have your calculator in front of you right now, you'll see that there's a whole bunch of buttons here. So this could get really confusing, but no need to worry. The only button you're going to have to worry about, aside from the numbers, is this button right here. And if we zoom in on it, it has a really specific meaning. This here is the ABC button. It's the most important button that you'll need to know whenever you're making fractions. Because even though it has a mixed number on it, right next to that mixed number is the fraction part. So we use this button to make fractions as well. So let's go over our first three examples. So let's go over this first example here, one over two. Since one is our numerator, that's the very first thing we're going to press, the one key. After that, because it's a fraction, we're going to hit that ABC button, located right here. Now you'll notice you get this little lowercase l. Don't freak out. That's exactly what's supposed to be there. Then next, we're going to press the number 2. Once we're done with that, we hit Enter. And it's going to show us 1 over 2 in the calculator. So we've officially made our first fraction. Let's try the next example, 9 over 15. So we'll clear our calculator. We'll go to this clear button here. And now we'll go to 9 over 15. The first thing we'll press is the number 9. After that, we'll press our ABC button. And then finally, we'll enter 15. And I'll call this a little bracket. So it'll say 9 bracket 15. And the calculator reads that as 3 over 5. But hey, what happened? I thought we entered 9 over 15. This is one of the benefits of using a calculator. It actually reduces the fractions for us. So even though we entered 9 over 15, as a fraction in simplest form, it's really 3 over 5. So now let's go to example number 3. 11 over 21. So let's clear our calculator. And the first thing we'll do is we'll enter the number 11. Next, we'll hit the ABC button. And finally, since 21 is our denominator, we'll enter 21. So in the calculator, you'll see 11 bracket 21. But that's just how the calculator writes 11 over 21. So what buttons did you press for this first example? Well, the numerator is 33. So you should have entered 33. Then because it's a fraction, you should have pressed the ABC button. And then finally, you would enter the denominator, which is 71. So let's do that all together now. Let's clear our calculator first. 33, ABC, 71, and enter. So remember, even though the calculator writes 33 bracket 71, that's just how it represents the fraction 33 over 71. Now let's go to the second example, 45 over 55. So what buttons did you press? Well, first you should have entered 45. Then, because it's a fraction, you hit the ABC button. And finally, you enter 55, because that's the denominator. So let's do that all together now. 45, ABC, 55, enter. 
Now, even though it's 45 bracket 55, because it can be simplified, the calculator did that for you. It reduced everything by 5. 45 divided by 5 is 9, and 55 divided by 5 is 11. So that simplifies to the fraction 9 over 11. And how about the last example? So the first thing you should have entered was 20, because that's the top, then ABC, because it's a fraction, then 58, because that's a denominator. So let's do that all together now on the calculator. So we've got 20 ABC button, that gives us our bracket, and then 58, and then hit enter. But remember, this can be simplified, and the calculator did that for you. So even though you entered 20 bracket 58, and as a fraction that would be 20 over 58, the calculator simplified it for you. 20 divided by 2 is 10, and 58 divided by 2 is 29. And that's why your final answer is 10 over 29.